in optional exercise question number 1 three zeros are there i have already discussed in one example 110 you have to verify and again you have to try that what is the alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha beta beta gamma gamma alpha then alpha into beta into gamma okay this three thing you have to verify in optional question but question number 3 4 5 actually question number 3 and 4 are important question in some cc exam i have noticed that this question this two questions are coming okay question number 3 if zeros of the polynomial x q minus 3x square plus x plus 1 its zeros are a minus b a and a plus b it's okay then find the value of a and b find the value of a and b you know that sum of zeros a minus b plus a plus a plus b just look here here a is 1 a means coefficient of x cube okay is equal to minus b by a that means b b will cancel 3a is equal to actually this is minus b by a if you write may be told wrong you will write like this minus b means minus of minus 3 you write directly by a means 1 or if you take any other variable or if you write here the coefficient of x square by coefficient of x cube like this you will write don't write minus b by a because a is here also therefore you write just like this 3a is equal to 3 means a is equal to 1 so you get the value of a it's okay now product of zeros a minus b into a into a plus b product of zeros is equal to minus d by a directly write down what is minus d d means 1 pi a a means 1 it's okay and you already get the value of a 1 so 1 minus b into 1 plus b into a means it is 1 it is 1 plus b is equal to minus 1 it means 1 minus b square is equal to minus 1 so bring this one this side b square that side b square is equal to 2 or b is equal to plus minus root 2 So you get the values. It's okay. Question number four. This is a little bit lengthier one. The polynomial is x four minus six x cube minus twenty six x square plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five. Two of zeros are given as two plus root three and two minus root three. 2 plus minus root 3 means 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. Okay, and this is the polynomial. Find the other zeros. Now, what are the factors? X minus that is 2 plus root 3. What is the other factor? X minus 2 minus root 3. Okay. Now multiply these two. X minus two minus root three. This is x minus two plus root three, which is equal to either you multiply manually or a minus b a plus b means x minus two whole square minus root three whole square means x square plus four minus two the four x minus three. Means x square minus 4x plus 1. Now you divide this polynomial with this. Means x4 plus minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35. Divide this by x square minus 4x plus 1. So put here x square. X square into x square is x four. X square into minus four x is minus four x cube. X square into one is x square. Minus six x cube plus four x cube means minus two x cube. Minus twenty six x square minus x square means minus twenty seven x square plus one thirty eight x 
minus 35. Okay? So minus 2x, minus 2x into x square minus 2x cube, minus 2x into minus 4x plus 8x square, minus 2x into 1, minus 2x, minus 27, minus 8, minus 35, 138 minus plus 2, 140, 140 x minus 35. Now we put minus 35, minus 35 into x square, minus 35 x square, minus 35 into minus 4, that is 140 x, minus 35 into 1, minus 35 plus minus plus everything called remainder is zero so it is a factor so remainder must be zero so what do you get here x square minus 2x minus 35 so factorize it by splitting the middle term product is minus 35 difference is 2 that means 7 and 5 since it is minus 2x so direct i am right i am writing here directly x minus 7 into x plus 5 it's okay. So other zeros are 7 and minus 5. Or you can write your minus 7x plus 5x like this and take as common. Question number 5. This is a little bit lengthier one. Just carefully do this. If the polynomial x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x plus 10 is divided by x square minus 2x plus k then the remainders are comes out remainder is x plus a find k and a find k and a it's okay so when you divide this by this the remainder is x plus a Okay, so we have to find the value of k and a. If remainder comes, simply subtract the remainder from here. In that case, that is a factor of this, sorry, that is a multiple of this. When you divide this by this, the remainder comes this one. So if you subtract the remainder from the dividend, then this divisor is a factor of this one. So proceed forward like this. First subtract x and a from this x and a so x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x plus 10 minus x minus a subtract these two what will come x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x minus x minus 26x then plus 10 minus a plus 10 minus a is a factor of, sorry, is a multiple of this one, is a multiple of this one, means x square minus 2x plus k. That means the remainder comes 0. So simply do the long division and find, the, uh, make it equalize with 0, okay? So x4 minus 6x square plus 16x square minus 26x plus 10 minus a divide this by x square minus 2x plus k okay what we will put here first put x square x square into x square is x4 x square into minus 2x is minus 2x cube x square into k is kx square minus plus minus cut Mi minus 6x cube plus 2x cube minus 4x cube plus 16x square minus kx square means plus 16 minus k into x square minus 26x plus 10 minus a it's okay 
then put minus 4x minus 4x into x square is minus 4x cube minus 4x into minus 2x is plus 8x square minus 4x into k is minus 4kx plus minus plus this will cut 16 minus k x square minus 8 x square so 16 minus 8 is 8 minus k x square 26 x plus 4 k x let's say I am writing plus 4 k x minus 26 x plus 10 minus a these two are x term these two are constant term now what will put 8 minus k is there so plus 8 minus k now here this is the most important part 8 minus k into x square is 8 minus k x square 8 minus k into minus 2x means it will be minus 2x into 8 minus 16x minus 2x into minus k means plus 2kx then k into 8 is 8k k into minus k is minus k square this is minus cancel this will be plus this will be minus this will be minus this will be plus so check what are the x values 4kx minus 2kx that means 2kx plus 16x minus 26x means minus 10x any other value no this is one part other constant part 10 minus a plus 10 minus a minus 8k minus k square this is the other part so if you equate it 0 that means 2kx minus 10x is equal to 0 take x as common it will be 0 so 2k minus 10 is equal to 0 or k is equal to 5 now in second part 10 minus a minus 8 into 5 then minus k square means minus k square means 5 square okay just simply simplify it 10 minus a minus 40 minus 25 I am committing mistake it will be plus k square it will be plus k square so it will be plus plus so minus a minus 5 is equal to 0 so a is equal to minus 5 it's okay